Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. This is one of those vehicles in the left corner we have, in the right corner, I don't know which one's which. This is the 2008, or two, was it a seven or eight? I can't even remember now. So many Praters and Hiluxes. I don't remember for more than about half an hour what year it was and how many Ks it's done. That's why I'm showing you. We'll call it 227,000 K. On this, I think it's maybe an 08 or a late 07. Definitely original injectors for 227,000 Ks. And the important, we're gonna have a look at the diagnostics so you know it should, what it should be with a manual with this year vehicle. Um, after the injectors are replaced with everything being normal. How do we know it's normal? Well, this is with it all, the job done right, new injectors, everything's Mickey Mouse. So, okay, 227,000 K. This is the one that had two injectors stuck. Number two and three, both the beginning, just right at the start of blow-by, the seats under the injectors starting to leak when I say blow-by. There wasn't much carbon or anything like that there. The oil pickup, clean, no problem, okay? So you wanna get it before this happens. This is typical. Check out our playlist, there's one with a 230,000K Prado that you can see what happens at 230K, right? So they can go earlier than this, they can last longer than this. I promise you, I've seen them at 400,000Ks and they're not leaking. So you can get really lucky, okay? But do you want to run on luck? Uh, we've seen them under 200,000Ks a number of times, not often, not common, but that's why we sort of recommend the 170, 180, 190, Somewhere there depends what Prado or Hilux you've got. For exact recommendation when to replace your injectors, you need to watch all these videos in detail. Hit the like button, and this is why I say subscribe and turn the bell on. Let's just pretend for a moment some of my videos aren't relevant to you. That's cool, so you don't want to subscribe. But what if you miss out on a really, really good one because you're not subscribed with the bell on? So turn it on. If you start watching the video, make a call a couple of minutes in like now, two minutes in and go, this is for me or this is not for me. All the wise people that want the information, they just hang around and watch till the end. You can check the comments. I've done a few tests. I know who the people are that watch the whole videos and they're going to be the smartest, most educated people on these vehicles or automotive in general because a lot of this information, it's general information that you can use on other vehicles. So when we talk exact torque specification, crank camshaft bolt 98 newton meters, well, it's not the same on another vehicle but it's probably gonna be similar and you can get to know that's probably about what it would be if uh, you know you could never find any books or anything online ever again. Let's just pretend the whole internet crashed. There was no more internet, it's finished. And we got rid of all the books. So you need to make something up or you're gonna wish you educated yourself before that happened and that's what this is all about. So 227K, seat started to leak. Don't leave them that long. 200,000K is the limit that I would really, you know, I say you can push it to 200 if you like, but that's pushing it, right? Anyway, the 1GDs, we found those seats still looking pretty good at just over 200,000K, so maybe you can push those a bit further. You know, it's a bit of r and you with the 1GDs, you know? Um, you know, it's early days. They're only five, six years old, right? When 1KDs were five or six years old, 2005, that's 2011. In 2011, most people had never heard of a cracked piston in any engine, right? So give it more time. There's plenty of other problems with 1GDs. We talk about that here and there in our videos, but we're not the experts on it because we don't see these vehicles yet. They're generally under warranty and they're, they're young. So even if they've got a problem out of warranty, people are gonna take it back and hopefully get it covered now. Down to the diagnostic side of things. Let's have a bit of a look here and see what's going on. Remembering this is a five-speed manual, okay? So things are gonna be a bit different and this is what they should be. Why? Because it's all done right, job's right, happy days. So you're gonna see a reading with an 08. So the injectors changed in about September 09. So the earlier vehicles have a lower load reading in the auto, like the five-speed auto is the most common. In the Prado, you're going to normally see around about anything from 10 to 12, but let's say about 11 ish for a calculate load reading. A manual in that 120 Prado or in this Hilux, you're going to see around about a nine figure once it's at full operating temperature. That's what you're seeing. All right, coolant temp at full temp, 81, 82. Maybe this one's idling a little bit cooler. We've got some really cold Melbourne weather here today. It's ridiculous, like this year, 2019, it's just, you'd think you're in winter still all the way to the end of the year, the way it's been so far. But anyway, let's have a look at the other readings, other important readings. We won't keep you much longer. We're just about done. Okay, let me just get that right. Okay, injection volume, look, only five. Now, so 
when you've got an auto and you're spinning the weight of the torque converter it needs a bit more fuel to maintain that 700 rpm and it's normally around about the six mark right on the 120 prados probably on the automatic hiluxes like this similar they do all vary a bit that's why you need to check our specific videos check the diagnostic playlist and listen to me i'll describe what vehicle till you find the one that suits you this is the hilux manual up to september 09 what your reading should be with new injectors and everything's good you can have a look at the so the injection volume around somewhere just under five that's pretty normal you might see five you might see four four and a half when injectors are old having a reading like this isn't good because the injection volume can actually go down when there's other injector issues so feedback values it's really nice when you see zeros and point ones and all that but it's not always possible it doesn't always happen you can quite often see a one point something right it's rare to see a two point something okay so if you see a two point three at number three i'm going well you know it depends how old the vehicle is some wear difference in compressions valve clearances and other things that um, can in affect you know because that is your individual fuel that's being added and subtracted at each cylinder to even up the horsepower from each cylinder right it uses the computer uses sensors to go it calculates your engine speed after each cylinder fires and it says okay that one's a bit faster that one's a bit slower and it therefore calculates and adds fuel so what's happening here is number one nothing's being added or subtracted zero number two minus 0.5 number three point one and you know without the subtract it means adding right okay pilot one and two they're both going to be around about the 430 mark they always are right even older injectors things don't change too much if they change you've got some big problems the later vehicles are closer to 450 so remember specific to the vehicle main injection period as you can see it's been jumping around the 450 give or take you know what i mean so that's what you're going to get with this vehicle with a manual right they do the main injection period i've said it before they do jump around a bit that's pretty normal but if you've got it jumping around a lot like 100 each way or even you're not around the seven eight nine hundreds they're off their heads and you're going to see the load reading and the main injection uh, sorry the uh injection volume up there as well let's have a quick look at the timing 2013 two yeah it's all good let's have a quick look at the fuel pressure it's got the long suction control valve right 35 is the target you'll see 32 to 35 generally which means it's operating normally and you don't need to waste your money if you message me for injector kit um i'm gonna i'm gonna get you to watch that video so check it out first it's called latest injector information search our channel just search latest injector those two words and you will find even latest you'll probably find it it's a video from january 21 so it's almost about a year old but it's pretty well up to date with most information it's going to give you a guide you need to text me anything you don't want in the kit and you need to have a look if you've got a long suction control valve or not if they're long if it's long it, they change about 09 this one's an 08 and it's got the long one so either it got lucky and got lucky with a long one or um all the pumps been replaced at some stage if you've got a long one we don't want to change it it's a waste of money i don't want to sell you things you don't need okay so right if it's got the short one then as i said you can get it at the same time or you can get it later if you can't afford it because we recommend not installing it at the same time do the injectors get the job running drive it for a couple of weeks then do the scv a couple of weeks later whether you get it at the same time or not right good yeah good get it at the same time have it sitting there just wait a couple of weeks then you can see the difference for yourself i'd like you to see the difference so when people ask you can say hey guess what mate i did mine separate and mate absolutely it made a difference and for a lot of people it's not going to because it's maybe not going to show symptoms but for a lot of people it is and you know we just like people to be able to see the difference anyway that's a video guys you know the deal if you can hit the like button subscribe turn the bell on we want to share this information help people learn the correct information about their vehicles